Um, super excited to do this Tabata with you guys today. You know how much I love Tabatas. Ah. So uh, the weight that you'll need uh, for this workout, um, the, the, the determiner will be an upright row and um, a bent row. And we're gonna do a variation on the bent row today, which I'm really, really excited to, uh, to show you guys this, this uh, variation. Um, story of the day. Um, I've told this story before, um, but it, it, it definitely has a different context in this environment. So, story of the day, there was this fox and this fox goes into the forest. I love how like the fox and the lion are always together in the forest. It's like, I, it feels like different, different situations. But so this fox um, sees a lion for the first time and just instinctually just bolts off. He's just like, forget this, this, I don't know what that thing is. So then the next time the lion comes around, the fox like hides behind a tree and is checking out the lion. And then the next time the lion comes around, the fox gets a little bit closer. And by the 10th time that the fox sees the lion, the fox goes up to the lion and says, hello, old cat. And the, the, the moral of the story, since we've been doing these Aesop's fables this whole time, is, is like once, once you become um, used to something, you might forget about its power, you know? And uh, <laughs> I, I love this quote in this story that it's like, familiarity breeds contempt, which feels a little, a little weird in our society now, but it actually makes sense in the, in the context of the coronavirus. It's like, you know, we get so used to now being around each other that we forget that we still need to be safe. You know, we still need to wash our hands and use our masks as much as possible and, and do all those things that we've been really, really good about especially with keeping Portland's numbers down. Like Portland's numbers have been awesome until now, you know? So like, let's, let's, let's respect the power that this virus has and still be really safe, yeah? All right, and that's what we're trying to do in here too, okay? So guys, we're gonna start off with our jumping jacks. I can see how that would be hard to hear right then, Heather. We're gonna start off with our jumping jacks. And uh, if you aren't doing the jumping jacks, you can also just follow along with whatever arm movements we're doing, or you can do squats, but you don't have to do 90 squats, all right? So I'm gonna count the first five, you're gonna count the second five, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're gonna do seal jacks, so we're here and out. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're gonna do cross jacks. So we cross our arms and our legs with this one, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, second set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. 
is very open. It's an art of being a So we're going to do a tricep stretch. So we're going to take our right hand and we're going to try to touch our left shoulder blade. We take our left arm and we're going to pull it into that blade. Breathe into it. All right, let's take it the other way. Let's go ahead and go to our Cossack stretch. So take my leg out to the side. Yep. And then rock back. And then rock forward. Rock back. So if you have any decisions, you can also help with your nose. Give me 10 on that side, and then switch it out to 10 on the other. I'm just going to see if I can adjust Heather. Uh, no. Sorry, Heather, I was going to try to get you closer, but I don't think I can right now. All the cords are all jacked up. All right. All the stuff that we got. Hey, guys, so now we're going to go back to that original side. Give me the leg lift. Four and five. All right, switch out to the other side. You can just skip as level as possible. Try not to lift that hip. Five. All right, guys, let's go into our frog. So, what I want to do is I want to have my heels right off of my knees. Come down onto my forearms. Widen out those legs. Now, be real gentle with that drawing. As I push back, push my butt back, grip the earth with my knees and hold that for five, four, three, two, one. I want you to walk forward to get some of that pressure off that point. Then you're going to push back in. Go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Again. Yeah. So maybe try to get your feet more flat on your head. Yeah, Right. One more time, guys. Here we go. Push them back. Get that earth. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Next, we go to our yoga windmill. So we're coming to this high plank. I'm going to take my right foot next to my right hand, whichever foot you want to bring forward. Then that same arm is going to reach towards me. So I want this knee to come over this ankle. I want that back leg. You can really straighten out. You can't get that back leg straight when you're on the ground. That's fine. All right, so you reach forward. Then you're going to rotate your hand out. You're going to rotate your hand to that back wall. You're going to bring your elbow in and down. Get a little straight stretch. You're going to switch it out to the other side. Reaching towards me. Those legs are super active. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Rotating that shoulder down. All right, let's do one more on each side. Reaching, rotating. Uh, that's good. Point, point, point. Yeah. That's the thing. The things. Reaching. Okay. Next, guys, we're going to stand up. Now, what I want to do is my walk around. So, I'm going to come into a really, really high lunge. Yeah, I'm going to keep your mask out of the way so it's still on. That's fine. We come into a deep lunge. I'm going to walk out, but I want to make sure I get into this high plank. Don't cheat yourself with this high plank, all right? Make sure you come all the way out. Make sure this over like this. Come back in and rotate. Walk it out in that semi circle. And 
where my, my hips are up in the air. And then I'm going to reach back. When I reach back, I'm going to take my head and look over the hand that's on, on the ground, right? So I'm reaching back, keeping this. So here, I'm going to switch that to the other side. Try really hard to keep those hips up the entire time. So looking back behind you, go ahead and keep your five on each side. The higher your hips go up, the actually easier it is. You say, Bootsy, that's nice. I swear to you. I swear. It's like we're talking about sit up, but those are the sit up and the joint part, right? Sarah's favorite. Sarah's like, thank you. I know if you ordered those this morning. Um, okay, so then we have our partial squat. My new favorite squat. Okay. Kelly's like, no, no. All right, so guys, for my partial squat, I'm gonna come about the uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna come all the way to depth, and then I'm not gonna stand all the way up with this. So I'm gonna keep constant tension. So I'm going to come down like I'm really shallow, and then I'm coming up. And I'm not going to like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lengthen out those legs with this, right? Constant tension. Yep. Got to keep those backs upright. Woo! Hello. Good morning, guys. How are you? I like that some of us are in prayer position. Asking oh, for <laughs> the gods of exercise to bless us, yes? All right. Good job. So then, oh yeah, we have our military crutch. We want to make this harder, grab a dumbbell. So for my military crutch, my knees are up. So my arms are straight. But I push that lower back on the ground. I go up and through. Now, if you don't want to lose a dumbbell, you do not need to use a dumbbell. For some reason, I find it almost easier to use a dumbbell. That is, right? Um, Reaching through. Go ahead, give me 10 of those. Yep, knees up, knees up the whole time. So try to keep those feet flat around if possible. There you go. Whee! Nice, Heather. Good job, Heather. For picture perfect. <laughs> 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 you feel it, right? Okay, guys, sorry, we can just stay on the ground because then we can go to our hands. So, feet close to my butt. I'm going to reach down the side of my shoe and go the other way. So, I'm really trying hard to think about where I'm feeling this in my own weeks, all right? So, I'm going to crunch up the one side and stand on the other. Now, if you do these right, it should be hard. All right? Yeah, give me 10 for our warm up. All right. Then we go to our alt reverse sludge. So when I'm talking about our alt, that means we just switch out our legs each time. All right? So we go to reverse sludge. I'm not going to have a real free lunge. I want it to be a strength lunge. So I want my knee. Close to my heel, right? Coming back up, keeping my chest as upright as possible. As I do five on each side. Now, if you want to make this hard for me to do the bottom, you grab one of the dumbbells. Get that knee about an inch off the ground. Nice job, Megan. You can tell me I had time this morning. Concentrate. On each side. Good job, guys. Awesome. All right. Then, oh, yeah. So now we're going to do our A frame push ups. Now, if you have a hard time doing the A frame push ups, you can do a downward dog with a pedal. So I'll show both variations on this. So for my A frame push ups, I'm in this, this high this position where I'm pushed back on my shoulders, which I always tell you guys not to do. Then my legs are going to be wide. I'm going to come down, bring my head to the floor, and back up. Come down, bring my head to the floor, and back up. Now, if that hurts your shoulders by any chance, the 
And I want you to just do this downward dog, pushing your hips back. And I want you to pull your feet, right? So give me 10 of those. Yes. Push up. I'm here. Oh, it's horrible. All right. <laughs> and then I'm going to move my elbows out as I bring my head down. Yeah, and then you've got, you've got those long legs, so you want to get the other. Find out your feet. Yep, there you go. Yeah. 
the train and not have that foot touch the ground. <laughs> you can't. It's a goal. It's a goal. All right. Resting, going back to first two boats. Dude. 
lost your crown. All right. Woo. Try to take it slow, try to keep a good momentum. Nice. All right, three, two, one. Wow, that feels like good food, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, like a good meal for our muscles. Yeah, there you go, Rob. Chicken soup for the legs. Reaching, reaching, hips up. You can thank Coach Josh again for this one. Thanks, Coach Josh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you like how I blame Coach Josh when you guys are in pain? But I never say like, oh, this was my workout. I know, it's like cowardly. I did, yeah, he tried to take credit for that. I was like, oh. <laughs> exactly. Woo! Yeah! Oh, oh, I'm feeling it. All right. Come on, we got this. This is. It truly is. Rob's keeping track. <laughs> right? It'll end soon. It'll end within four minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Digestible, right, Sarah? What a positive glass half full way to look at it. I love it. All right. Here's our partials. Woo! Again, guys, as I always say with these Tabatas, if you're feeling super gassed, feel free to skip around, all right? I'd rather you skip around and then come back and do really, really perfect form Woo! Yeah! All right. Yikes! Seemed like such a good idea yesterday when we were going over this. I'm like, who's teaching this class? <laughs> All right, guys, grab your water, and then I will demo while, while you are resting. We have our dumbbell military crunch. Again, if you don't have a dumbbell at home, grab your cat. They will really appreciate this one. We're coming up, we're reaching through, we're coming back down, trying to keep those arms straight. When you're at the bottom, try really hard to keep that lower back pushed into the ground. That's gonna help activate those abs. And then we have our penguins, penguins. So then I'm really crunching my obliques as I'm extending them on the other side my shoulder blades are lifted, okay? Going back and forth, each side. All right, guys, we got about 10 seconds more of rest. Then we're gonna get into it with our military crunch. All right, guys, we're going in three, two, one. Hit it, bye. Here we go. <laughs> Penguins, getting those feet in close to the butt. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Ah. All right. 
Going back into our military crunch. You got this. Arms are always straight with this. Try to get that nice little stretch at the top by getting those shoulders over those hips, keeping those feet flat on the ground. Nice, Chris. Good job, Sarah. Oh, all right. Little ab intermission. Thank you, thighs. And we're reaching. Slow and controlled. Really think about squeezing those obliques. All right. What do we got? Okay. Two more sets of each. Here we go. So yeah, knees up the whole time, Kyla. <laughs> or knee grabs, whichever one you want, that's fine. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> All right, penguins. And we're going. Yep. Try to get down as far as you can. Take it slow. Get that full range of motion. All right, guys. This is our last set of each. Last set. Woo. Holy stuff. Halusa! Halusa! What am I hitting? <laughs> Whoa! Really feel those abs contract, guys, to get you up there. All right. Woo! Penguins for the win! Guys, we are resting. So even though we're gonna be on the ground for this next set, I want you to rest standing up, all right? So we are going to grab our wata. Woo! All right, next, we have our kneeling upright row. I'm gonna demo while you rest. So when I'm doing this kneeling upright row, I want you to make sure you feel those legs be really active. I want you to feel your glutes are on. You're going to expand that belly full of air, bringing that diaphragm down. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're right. You're right. That was wishful thinking on my behalf. All right, alt reverse lunge. <laughs> All right. Good job, class catching me on stuff. We're gonna do our alt reverse lunge. Again, this is not a mobility lunge where I'm going long with it. I wanna stay in tight. I wanna keep it strong and I wanna keep that chest as upright as possible as I do this. Now again, if I wanna make it harder, I'm gonna grab a dumbbell and then I have my A-frame push-up or my downward dog with a pedal. So for that A-frame push-up, I want you to make sure that that butt is up in the air and that you're pushing back on your shoulders as you bring your head to the floor and back up. Head to the floor and back up. Or you're doing your downward dog where you're pushing back and then you're pedaling out those feet. So we're trying really hard to keep those legs straight with this, okay? So I always tell you like, come forward, but I don't want you to come forward with this one. I want you to be in this real intense A-frame, okay? So, what do we got? Oh, we're good on time. All right. Guys, we're starting with our reverse lunges in three, two, one, 
Go. I think, you know, I'm going to blame part of the problem on the fact that I can't read my own handwriting. <laughs> it's all just hieroglyphics, and it's just like, I don't know, maybe this is next. <laughs> Josh? Oh my god, it's Josh's fault? <laughs> it's the constant Josh situation. All right, guys, coming down and up. Down and up. If you feel any strain in your shoulder, just go ahead and give me that downward dog pedal. So heels up, Kyla. Yeah, so I want you to pedal with your heel up. So you're going to go here to here. Yeah, yeah. All right. We are going back into our reverse lunge. And we're going. Nice. Good job, guys. Getting all that weight into that lead leg. That's the leg that pulls you up. That's the leg that lowers you. All right. Back into my A-frame push-up. Widening out those legs to get them straight. And we're going. Nice job, nice job. All right, switching it out. Here we go. face. All right, guys. Pushing back, getting that butt up high, trying to get those legs as straight as possible. Good job, Sarah. All right. Now, this is going to be our last set of each. Best set of each. Nice. <laughs> Variations on the feet. All right, switching it out. Here we go. <sighs> Try to blow the floor away from you as you come up. Exhale the floor away, just like in a push up. <sighs> All righty then. Hey guys, now we get to do our kneeling upright row. Yay! <laughs> It's our kneeling upright row party. All right. So for that, I truly will be in a kneeling position, squeezing those glutes, keeping that rib cage down, always leading with those elbows, okay? Coming down and up. Again, guys, I want you slow and controlled with this, all right? This isn't speed strength day. And then I'm gonna roll over into my swimmers. So really reaching out, I want you to splay those fingertips, really trying to come up. And I want you to feel this in your glutes, not in your lower back. So really think about tightening up those legs in order to pull yourself up from your glutes, bringing those shoulder blades together. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit of water. And then I think we're good to go.
All right. All right. Here we go, guys. And hit it. Nice. Good job, Reba. Get those glutes on, get those glutes on. Just because you're yawning, Catlin, doesn't mean your glutes don't have to be on. They're on, bro. <laughs> I'm almost yawning out my butt. They're on. <laughs> All right, guys. Smithers. Here we go. And hit it. So try to keep the, your eyes at about a 45 degree angle in front of you so that you're not wrenching up that neck. Keep those legs really, really on, really activated to feel that in your glutes as it helps pull you up into this back extension. Nice. Whew. I'm feeling warm. I don't know about you guys. Nah, nah. There are days where I wish I sweated because I am sure my body temperature would be better regulated. <laughs> nice, Sarah. Yeah. All right. Oh, we got this, guys. We got this. And hit it, boom. Squeezy, squeezy, those shoulder blades. Legs are active. active. Nice. So Catlin, keep your arms really tense the whole time. There you go, yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're actually swimming when you're doing yours. <laughs> Like, yeah, that's... <laughs> Catlin is very literal. That is great. <laughs> that's right, you used to be a lifeguard. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> squeeze those glutes, guys. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can tell by Rob's face that he's squeezing his glutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's going all the way up. Glute face. <laughs> All right, guys, we got this. This is so good for your posture. So good for those techniques. Ha. Extension. Woo! Yeah! Ah. Catlin, this is going to sound weird, but I missed your tongue. That tongue being out. Oh my God. Oh my God. It makes me so happy to see that. Oh. I am a jar. <laughs> Uh, uh, two, one, yeah. All right, guys, take a little ab break while we do our dessert, our homework. Let's grab some water first. Whee! And let's go ahead and start with our our hamstring, our uh, deep squat with hamstring bias. So I'm widening out my feet, grabbing those toes, getting into this deep, deep squat, rotating out, rotating out, lengthening those legs, bringing that chin to chest, coming back down, getting that really nice hamstring stretch at the top. Deep, deep, deep squat, deeper than normal. 
Whoa. Five of these. Roll it up. All right, guys. Let's go ahead into our knee grabs. All right. So 10 knee grabs. My arms are in close to my chest, throwing those arms forward, making sure to get my feet flat on the ground as I get my shoulders over my hips and back down. Use those shins. Just touch those shoulder blades to the ground. Nice, Reba. Heather, I have Reba in here today. She's not there with you. It's so weird. All right, guys. Then we're going to go into our T-spine planks, or you can do eccentric planks. I'm sorry, eccentric push-ups. Um, let me try this again. We're going to go into our T-spine push-ups, or our um, plank, our archer planks, or our eccentric push-ups, whichever one you want to do, since we don't have boxes or elevated surfaces for this. Oh, no. The Tabata clock. No. <laughs> ah. This doesn't want to go up. There. Jeez. All right. So for my eccentric push-ups, if I'm doing those, my feet are together, my arms are over my, my shoulders are over my, my wrists. I'm gonna go 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 down to the ground, and then just lift myself back up. If I'm doing an, uh, um, an archer plank, I'm in this high plank position, and I'm dragging that hand along my arm. If I'm doing my T-spine push-up, coming all the way down to the ground, rotating out, coming all the way down to the ground, rotating out, all right? Give me five of whichever version you're doing. Yeah, try to get your butt lower, Sarah. Try to get your butt lower. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Nice. Awesome, guys, awesome. We did it, that was great. All right, so one of the most heartbreaking things for Coach Josh and I in the dojo is that we're not doing high fives, um, but we're going to do a new high five. And what that is, is like you make eye contact with the person next to you, and then you go poop, poop, all right, over your heart. All right? Yeah. Heather, boop. Yeah? Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. So don't be that fox that, dis that disrespects the power of the lion, right? because we all have to stay safe and healthy, as safe and healthy as we possibly can during this, this crazy, crazy time, all right? So guys, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. <laughs> Brendan Fraser is a treasure. Is a treasure.